I made the working portal gun in Minecraft Bedrock Edition using only command blocks. That's right, no mods, add-ons, plugins, or anything of that sort. Anyways, enough with the intro, let's get right into the video. Okay, so this is the entire command block setup, and now, some command block users out there may be thinking, Oh my gosh, it's so messy, what'd you do? Okay, well, I like it like this, it makes it look complicated and it makes me look smart, okay? So let's start by going over some of the command blocks here. So this is Portal Gun 2, so this is the second Portal Gun you get once you fire off this one. And this is Portal Gun 1, which is the one I'm currently holding, which is Portal, which is actually Liberal Portal Gun. White. Now this line of command block here actually will first summon the armor stand, which is actually the portal, which I've actually uh, changed and manipulated to look like a uh, portal, which then will start by killing, will check for all uh, other portals, It'll kill them, and then it'll summon a new one. That way there's not, like, two portals in the same world. And then this one does the exact same thing, but for the second one. Over here, we have TPPG. This is the one that'll allow the allow us to teleport from one portal gun to the next. And this is the second one for the second line of commands. And then all these fancy ones over here just are for cosmetics, so each of them look cool. So now let's go into a further breakdown of how each command works. So this one will start out by running an execute command, which will test for all blocks that are grass underneath it now i could technically make make it detect any block but i don't really know how to do that my command block knowledge is not that advanced yet so once it detects the grass underneath it it will start by uh looking for the portals which in this case the portal first portal is called a uh, tom just no reason just i just felt like it so then it'll kill all of them and then once it's killed all of the uh tom portals it will Run the command to summon a new armor stand that's also named Tom. Now this command is literally just so the uh, portal will actually face you, that way it doesn't look wonky when you're looking at it. This command here actually makes it so that you can gain the second portal gun. That way you're not just firing the same one over and over again. And then this one just does the exact same thing, but in this side it instead gives you this one, the, the bow again. But these two command blocks will here give invisibility to the armor stands, and then these ones project the particles, that way you can still see them. This command here makes it so when I hit the portal gun, it'll actually get rid of the bow, that way we're not just, you know, having like a bunch of bows in our hand. This one here makes it so that the arrow will disappear once it lands on the floor, that way, you, that way, you know, the portal will be able to go to different spots. The commands here aren't actually anything, they're just presets for this command down here, which gives you, again, the portal gun. This command here actually enchants your bow with infinity, that way you don't have to waste like a thousand arrows, so I only have one in my inventory right now. Overall, these commands took about... I had roughly, I'd say roughly five hours to make, and I sadly didn't record any of it, because, fun fact, when I was making this, it was just like a prototype thing, it was like, it was a little thought I had, like, if it could be done, and then I like, kind of got it started, I was like, alright, this might be possible, and then I finished the entire thing without recording any footage of me making it, so, you know. The hardest thing to probably make was probably the second portal, and then maybe the command to get rid of the portals, that way there's not multiple portals in the same world, which actually was easily fixed by, with the, with this command. So, you know, kind of them. Took me like an hour to figure that out. Alright, let's see if the portals will actually work now. Technically, I don't need to be in survival mode, but it'll just work better if I am in survival mode. So now let's find the first portal, which will create the white gust, which is the portal, which is white. I could have made it blue, but that would take a lot of uh, searching through like all the particle list to find the right one that would look the best. So I just chose this one because it was easy. And then we have the red one. Now, to make it so you wouldn't just bounce back and forth over and over again, I actually added a delay in, in the commands that allow you to teleport. That way you can actually go inside, teleport to the next, and walk out. But if you stay inside, you will just get teleported back and forth like this. But you can just walk out. So you notice when I fired the snowball, I actually got my bow back. That way, I can fire it in a new position. And look at that, the portal disappeared and went over here. And then I can do the same with this one over here. Pretty cool. Okay, now I think these portals could have some really cool applications in the real game. Not that they will ever be added, they, they probably won't be. But let's say I had, I wanted to leave like one portal here, and then I had like a base, like I don't know, let's just, let's just say like uh, over there. Then I could go through this portal, and then I can appear my other base over here. That'd be super cool. Or let's just say that I wanted to, you know, like just, you know, just like go around the world, just like put a portal there, and then travel over here I could go to I could go around the world f even faster just boop and boop See? back and forth they're probably wondering mr. creature 
why are I using a bow and a snowball? Why don't you use two bows or just like two snowballs? And now, yes, I could use two bows. However, I'm not really sure how to get that to work without conflicting with the other command. Unless I was do uh, unless I were to like do like a set block command, so that uh, this was only activated when I have like a redstone block here and a redstone block there. Actually, that probably work. Either way, uh, it's already finished. I already have it set to uh, have you know a uh, regular just snowball to be the red portal, and I have a bow to be the white portal. Maybe you're wondering why don't you why don't you know so many people use a bow? What if they want to use a bow in the normal game? Why don't you use, like, I know, a splash potion or, like, a bottle of Owen chanting? Now, uh, actually, in Bedrock Edition, I think, I, I couldn't get the, I couldn't get it to work with, like, potions or spa or bottles of enchanting. In fact, I couldn't even get it to work with a trident. And I could actually get it to work with a fishing rod, but the fishing rod, like, 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 like this. Just, you wouldn't be able to travel at all. You, you, you wouldn't be able to go anywhere, unless you wanted to, like, set one point here and set another point over there. But at that point, it's practically useless. It's not like I can use an ender pearl, like, literally. Just think about that for one second. How would I be able to use an ender pearl? You know, this is kind of like an ender pearl on its own, just, you know, you don't have to kill a mob for it, and you just kind of use it infinitely. I mean, there's literally no other item I could have used. Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Yeah, I, I guess I could have used an egg. Right, to be completely honest, I completely forgot that eggs existed, okay? Don't judge me. <laughs> so there you go. This has been my entire command block portal gun creation. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, why not leave a like down below? Also, I'm so sorry for the audio quality of this video. During recording, I didn't realize that I had my mic volume intakes up so loud. So, uh, if it was bothering you, I, I, I'm sorry. Anyways, that makes Skyward's content about my crazy life experiences, which aren't actually so crazy. I just call them crazy because that adds some flair to the words. Anyways, I've been your host, Hamish Creature, and I'm signing off.